internal ear. The internal ear is also known as labyrinth because it has got a complex structure. It is lodged in the petrous part of temporal bone and is located medial to the middle ear. Subdivisions Internal ear consists of an outer bony labyrinth and inner membranous labyrinth. Bony labyrinth It consists of three parts cochlea, vestibule, and three semicircular canals. Bony cochlea. Bony cochlea is conical in shape. It resembles shell of snail. It consists of central bony column called modiolus and a spiral cochlear canal which takes around two and three fourth turns around modiolus. Basal turn of cochlea produces the promontory on the medial wall of middle ear. Osseous spiral lamina is a projection from the modiolus which extends partially inside the cochlear canal. The base of the spiral lamina contains spiral canal at its base. Spiral ganglion of cochlear nerve is present in the spiral canal. The free edge of spiral lamina provides attachment to the vestibular ligament and basilar membrane. The part of cochlear canal above the vestibular ligament is known as scala vestibuli. Part below the basilar membrane is known as scala tympani. Cochlear duct or scala media is present between scala vestibuli and tympani. Scala vestibuli and tympani are filled with perilymph. Scala media is filled with endolymph. Scala vestibuli and tympani communicate with each other at the apex of cochlea through helicotremor. At the base of cochlea, the opening of scala tympani, known as fenestra cochleae, is closed by secondary tympanic membrane, whereas the scala vestibuli is continuous with vestibule. Vestibule It is the central part of bony labyrinth present between the cochlea and semicircular canals. Vestibule contains utricle and saccule of membranous labyrinth. Walls of vestibule Anterior wall It bears an opening which communicates with scala vestibuli of bony cochlea. Posterior wall, it bears five openings of three semicircular canals. Medial wall, it shows two recesses. Spherical recess is present in the front, which lodges the saccule, and elliptical recess, which is present behind the saccule, lodges the utricle. Lateral wall, it communicates with the middle ear by fenestra vestibuli, which is closed by footplate of stapes and annular ligament. Semicircular canals. There are three bony semicircular canals anterior, posterior, and lateral. Each canal is about two-thirds of a circle and is dilated at one end to form the ampullae. Three canals open into the vestibule through five openings. 
anterior semicircular canal lies at right angle to the long axis of petrous temporal bone. It is convex upwards. It produces arcuate eminence in the anterior surface of petrous temporal bone in middle cranial fossa. Its anterior ampullated end opens into vestibule. Its posterior non-ampulated end unites with the posterior semicircular canal and forms crus commune. Crus commune opens into vestibule. Posterior semicircular canal lies parallel to the long axis of petrous temporal bone. It is convex backwards. Its lower ampulated end opens into vestibule. Its upper non-ampulated end unites with the anterior semicircular canal and forms crus commune. Crus commune opens into vestibule. Lateral semicircular canal lies in horizontal plane. It is convex posterolaterally. Both the ends of lateral canal opens directly into vestibule. Membranous labyrinth. Membranous labyrinth is present within the bony labyrinth. Cochlear duct or scala media lies within the bony cochlea. Saccule and utricle lies within the vestibule. Membranous semicircular canal lodges in the bony semicircular canal. Cochlear duct. It is spiral part of membranous labyrinth which has two and three fourth turns. It lies between the scala vestibuli and tympani. It contains the sensory receptor for hearing, the spiral organ of corti. If we take a section of cochlear duct, it appears triangular in shape. Boundaries of cochlear duct. Base is formed by osseous spiral lamina and basilar membrane. Roof is formed by vestibular membrane. Vestibular membrane, also known as Raisner's membrane, extends from upper surface of spiral lamina to the wall of bony cochlea. Lateral, outer wall of cochlear canal. Spiral organ of corti. It is the organ of hearing. It is situated on the basilar membrane. It includes tunnel of corti. It is formed by inner and outer rod cells. It contains a fluid called corticolymph. Hair cells. These are the receptor cells located on the basilar membrane. Their apical part contains stereocilia. The apical surface of cells are covered by tectorial membrane. Inner hair cells are flask-shaped and arranged in a single row. Inner hair cells are richly supplied by cochlear nerve fibers and helps in transmission of auditory impulses. Outer hair cells are cylindrical and arranged in three or four rows. They are innervated by efferent fibers of olivary complex and are concerned with modulating the functions of inner hair cells. Supporting cells. It includes Dieter cells and Hansen cells. Dieter cells are situated between the outer hair cells. Hansen cells lie outside the hair cells. Tectorial membrane. It is attached medially to the osseous spiral lamina. It is made up of gelatinous substance which overlies the hair cells. Peripheral processes of bipolar neurons of spiral ganglion supplies the inner hair cells and outer hair cells. 
spiral ganglion is located in the spiral canal within the modulus near the base of spiral lamina. The central process of the ganglion cells forms the cochlear nerve. Saccule and utricle. Saccule is a small globular membranous sac which is present in the antero inferior part of the vestibule. Utricle is a membranous sac present in the posterior superior part of the vestibule and is larger than saccule. Saccule is connected with the cochlea duct through ductus reunions. Saccule and utricle are connected to each other by Y-shaped utriculosaccular duct. This duct expands to form ductus and saccus endolymphaticus. Utricle receives the opening of three semicircular ducts through five openings. Semicircular ducts. There are three semicircular ducts in the membranous labyrinth, which corresponds with the semicircular ducts of bony labyrinth. Anterior, posterior, and lateral. Each duct has dilated end called ampulla, which corresponds with the ampulla of semicircular canal. Crista ampullaris is raised crest projecting into the lumen near the ampullary end of each duct. The semicircular ducts, saccule and utricle forms part of the vestibular system. They contain maculae and cristae. Maculae are sensory receptors located in the walls of saccule and utricle. They are responsible for static balance, that is, they help in sensing the position of head in response to gravity and linear acceleration. Christi are sensory receptors located in the ampullated ends of three semicircular ducts. They respond to kinetic balance, that is, helps in sensing the position during angular acceleration. Vestibular ganglion is situated in the lateral part of internal acoustic meatus. Peripheral processes of neurons of vestibular ganglion supplies the cristae and maculae. Central processes forms the vestibular nerve.